guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Danny, and this is Coffee Break with Danny. So, a few vlogs ago, and I'll put up a picture here of what the thumbnail looks like. I just got a bunch of the dresses that I was telling you for the casual dress. Amazon video that I'm gonna film. I mentioned that I was anticipating the arrival of a bunch of Amazon dresses. And if you guys are just here for the haul or if you guys are just here to see which ones actually made the cut, I'll put a timestamp right here so you can skip ahead. But if you want the backstory, if you wanna hear a little bit about my personality type and why this shopping experience was kind of important, then you just, you just then we just keep talking about it like right now. So I am a horrid, disgusting, awful, absolute creature of habit. My mom says animalito de costumbre, which is literally the same thing of, the same translation to creature of habit. It's just one of those things where if I find something I like, I will get in every color. If I find something I like, I don't wanna ever replace it. It's so hard for me to do something different when I've already found something that I like. Does that make sense? <laughs> Can anyone relate? And I wonder what it is, like what it means about my personality, why I am that way, but it kind of goes hand in hand with the, I don't like surprises. I prefer to schedule things. Like, <laughs> Have you guys seen that video? It's like a meme or video, it's a reels. That's like, I'm all about going with the flow, but can you, can you tell me what time going with the flow starts and what do I have to do when I go with the flow? <laughs> That's me. <laughs> Years ago, the very first time that I went to Orlando with my best friend Sam, we went shopping at the outlets. And Old Navy is one of those stores that Sam is like in love with. And so I wasn't a big Old Navy shopper, but that trip, I bought a bunch of stuff that I really have found a hard time letting go of, which is weird because I can let go of clothing items real easy if I find something I like better but when I can't find a replacement, I'm in trouble. During that trip, I found a very comfy t-shirt dress and I found it in, I think three colors. This one, I mean, it's been four or five years and I'm still holding on to it. And it's just, I mean, it's, there's no, there, there's nothing special to it, but I loved it and I got really comfortable in it. And the reason that this haul was so important for me to do right now is because it's summer, we're on summer break, we live in Dallas and it gets over 100 and humid and I'm not a big fan of shorts. I feel like shorts give me, they give me wedgies and the wedgies that like you really you really just can't tough out. And so you're doing like the shimmy wedgie dance all the time. I just really wanted to find dresses similar to this one. Well, I wanted to find this dress again. I went on the Old Navy website. I looked for the SKU number. I Googled it. I was like, Old Navy t-shirt dress, Old Navy this. Well, they changed the style completely. And now it's boxier and the sleeves are longer and boxier. So I think they're going with that more peasant style that's popular right now for some unknown reason. So I was like, you know what? Let me just, let me broaden my scope of research. I'm gonna go on Amazon and I'm gonna find dresses that to me, they're the equivalent of like wearing sweatpants. So they're summer dresses where I don't have to put on a stitch of makeup. I don't have to coordinate them with heels. I don't need a belt to cinch the waist. Like I just want it to be like I'm wearing sweatpants and a t-shirt. So they're the, equi the, the comfort equivalent of that. So that when I'm home with my kids, if they wanna walk over to the park or walk over to Walgreens or we're doing just fun summer activities, I still feel comfortable. I still feel cute. I don't have to worry about dressing them up and I can throw them in the washer and dryer and nothing will happen to them. So those were the factors that I was considering when I was trying to find dupes or replacements for what this dress means to me in my closet. So I wanted it to be a comfy mom on the go dress, something that was washer and dryer friendly, something that was long enough like that's super important for me. And this is something that is so bizarre, but it's a very big trigger on my channel is every time I mention how tall I am, 
it really upsets people. So maybe I'll just say I'm tall and it, I have to shop for bathing suits like a size up or dresses or shorts a size up because I'm so tall and everything is way too short on me. Anyway, so when I was looking to replace this dress, I needed it to be washer and dryer friendly. I needed it to be long enough. I needed it to be comfortable and just like breathy, breathy, comfortable material that doesn't mess up, that's not see-through and just so that I'm not in sweats, so that I'm not in leggings and I could still feel fun and cute and I don't have to worry about, have you guys ever bought something that you're like, okay, I really love this dress, but I can't wear it because I don't feel like doing my makeup today. I really love this dress, but I can't wear it because I don't wanna wear cute shoes. I just wanna wear sneakers. So for me with these dresses, it was like, I don't care what's on my face, what's on my feet. I just wanna be comfy. Well, I ordered, gosh, I'm afraid to pull up my app because I'm pretty sure I ordered probably between 12 to 15 different dresses and only a very few made the cut. I wasn't even gonna do this video. This video was due a few weeks ago. I promised you guys that I would put it up within a week or two. It's been like a month since that vlog went up and I was just so like, oh, man, like is a video worth it when I'm just gonna show you guys four things? But then I thought, well, four is better than none. You know what I mean? So anyway, today we're gonna talk about that. I'm actually wearing one of the dresses right now and this is from Amazon Basics. So if you're unfamiliar, Amazon Basics is their uh, like store brand. It's like their store brand, but it's their clothing. They have everything you can imagine from socks to underwear to undershirts to pajamas to t-shirts. I have ordered socks for the boys from Amazon Basics. I've ordered gym t-shirts for Parker from Amazon Basics, and it's pretty hit or miss. Some stuff's good, some stuff's not. This is definitely a winner. So I got mediums in all of the dresses. So I made sure to size up in all of the dresses for length purposes. And since it's not a fitted dress, if it's a little bit too loose here, it's not a big deal because that's the style of the dress. And so keep in mind, I was trying to replace this style. Like this is the dress that I was trying to replace is just a long t-shirt dress. I'm not too concerned about the cinching in the middle. I'm not too concerned about pleating in the back. I literally just wanted a comfortable, long enough t-shirt dress. I even ventured out into looking at maxis and things like that, but then you you go into the spaghetti strap category, like the cami strap category, and then you're like, okay, do I wear a strapless bra? Do I wear no bra? Do I show my straps and not care? So this one for me was a big, big winner. You could tell it's a little bit loose, but the material is very flowy and slinky. It's not see-through, and it comes in a variety of colors. I got this in a striped gray, and it looked like it was twice as wide. So I would avoid the stripes, they're horizontal stripes. I would avoid the horizontal stripes if they are not your friend. I can't say I ever ran into that issue of horizontal stripes, but for some reason, the combo of the color that I got, the length of the dress, and the fabric style, it was just a really bad combo. The next one that I'm gonna show you, and I'll add footage of me wearing the dresses too so that you can get a better idea. This dress has become my favorite so quickly that when I wear it, I have to wash it the next day because I know I'm gonna wanna wear it in a few days again. And why? I have no idea. It is the same kind of fabric that this one is. It's not Amazon Basics brand, but it has pockets. And I love the pockets because they somehow make the dress a little heavier. So the way that it hangs is pretty flattering. None of these are see-through dresses, which I wanted to add. And again, they're all mediums. With stuff like this, I'll always get a medium because I don't wanna risk like my, my butt hanging out, you know? So I only got this one in one color. I may be inclined to go back and get a different color. I just, I really like the fabric. It's like so slinky and comfy. Loved it, one of my absolute faves. This one here is an exact dupe. I mean, exact dupe from the fabric to the cut to the length as the old navy one. It's the same dress in two colors. Clearly I have an attraction towards towards this blue. It is so comfortable. I love that it's a crew, a crew neck, but it's not hot, a high crew. This fabric is so thick. I don't know what the name of this type of cotton is, but can you see the texture on it? So the texture has sort of like a horizontal ribbing on it almost. And it's just, we recently took a trip and I wore one of them 
One of them was my airport dress there, and then the other one was my airport dress back because it's long enough, it's thick enough, it doesn't ride up, it's not uncomfortable, easy to wash. Like you can literally wash it in like a hotel sink and then hang dry it and it comes out just as fine. You could throw it in the washing machine. You could put the wrong temperature settings on your washing machine and dryer and nothing happens to it. It's like a very tough, forgiving, oh, is it stained? Did I already wear this one? Do you guys see that? Just uh, airing my dirty laundry, literally. So this one probably, I, I, if, I, if I was looking for a favorite just based on replacing my favorite Old Navy one, this is an exact dupe. So if you, if you found that Old Navy dress years ago, you fell in love with it, you got it in every color, this would be a perfect replacement for it. But I think, if, if I'm honest, on these and these that I've purchased, which ones become my new favorite of my everyday comfy, cozy, just t-shirt dress, I would say between these two, because it does have that swing fabric, that like really slinky cotton fabric that's super comfortable. Oh, cotton. Cotton's another trigger word on my channel. So like saying how tall I am, saying cotton or button is like, really upsetting you guys so i'm sorry i should probably put a trigger warning at the beginning of this dress haul video then two that i got in two colors but they're the same dress i thought it was fun it was a way to kind of venture off the same style over and over and over again with having this little x on the back now this dress, even though I did size up, I would say it fits like a small. So factor that in if you are tall or have very long legs. I think if you have a normal size torso, normal size legs, or even a short tor torso, sticking with your size would suffice. But if you do have long legs, I would go up a size or maybe even two sizes. So I went with a medium and it fits like a small. So I like, I'm not at risk for like my butt cheeks hanging out, but it is a little bit shorter. So actually, you know what? Let me show you by standing up. So if I pull it up, do you see the difference? It's really not that significant, but it's significant enough where it, it depends on why you're buying a dress like this. But it is so fun and it's so cute because it deviates from like the standard, just normal t-shirt dress. You know what I mean? Like it's, different enough with this little sexy detail in the back. So if you do it like a ponytail or like a bun or a top knot, you're like, oh, that's cute. The little crisscross in the back. And I really love horizontal stripes, especially in like nautical colors like this. I feel like it adds a little touch of elegance. So I like those, but remember that they do run a little bit shorter on the length. Now we're kind of flirting with danger a little bit. This is a dress that I saw on one of my favorite influencers. And I wanted to include it in this video because I have I have worn it to pick up my kids from school and I have worn it to play with them and to be home and to do the summer break thing and the schedule with them but it's one of those dresses where it's on the cusp of the reason why you're wearing it so this dress could easily be translated into a super sexy dress depending on how you choose to wear it and how you match it up so I wouldn't say this this fit into the t-shirt dress category but because I got it at the same time and loved it I wanted to share it with you guys so this is actually a dress from Shein, which I didn't know Amazon carried Shein on, on Amazon. I saw this dress on my favorite influencer that I was telling you about and she wore it and she really, she wore it with sneakers and it looked adorable. And I think one of the reasons why it's easy to pull off is because it's not low cut. So you're not getting any, you know, any sexiness happening up here. And then it's also very long but it has the ability or you have the option of pulling up the drawstring and making it a mini dress. So when I wear it, it's right above my knee, but I could wear it where it's right on my thighs. Do you know what I mean? So like I could scrunch it up completely. Do you see like the, the elastic it has on the sides here? So it has a really cute ability for you to kind of ruche it up around your whatever area that you want to camouflage, whether it's your hips, your tummy, whatever, if you don't care, what you just kind of evenly kind of scrunch it up. It's like a scrunchy dress. Or you could wear it like me where I wear it all the way down to my knees with white sneakers or sandals and it's just super, super comfortable. The fabric is a very thick, super thick ribbed material that has like infinite stretch. The brown one is like twice as stretchy as the blue one. 
and I think it might be a dye thing. So like the depending on the color of dye, it stiffens up the fabric more. So like this is the brown one and look at, do you see the difference? Like I could go from side to side on the uh, frame of the camera and with the blue one, I can't. Well, I mean, it's, it's still stretchy, but it's not like the other one where it's like really, I mean, it's an accordion. And so I don't know if that's like, it wasn't enough for me to change sizes or exchange sizes. I was just like, okay, well, this one's not as stretchy, but it's still pretty stretchy. You know what I mean? So I wanted to throw this one in there. It's one of those where it's like, it's a statement, you know, it's like an acid wash or tie dye. It is bodycon style, but that doesn't mean you can't size up and make it looser. You can make it as short or as long as you want. There's full coverage front and back. And so I don't know, I mean, wear it with white sneakers and chase your kids around, you know, with like knee length. And then when you want to be cute, throw on some clear heels or well, you guys have seen when I say clear heels, it just it throws out the bad, you know which ones I'm talking about. <laughs> I got those on the Amazon too. And you know, put on some makeup, lashes or whatever, and then just kind of scrunch it up a little higher. And then you have a really cute flirty dress where you don't have to worry about what undergarments you're wearing because it's full coverage everywhere, you know? And so I was on the fence to share this with you guys. And when I thought about sharing it with you, I was like, well, you know what? What if they don't want the comfy t-shirt dress? What if that's not their style? And they're like, well, do you have any other cute dresses that you found on Amazon that could be fun for like date night or whatever that are summer appropriate? So I think I have two more that I wanna share with you that I bought last year. So fingers crossed that they are still available. They probably are. I'll just have to find the new listing for you guys. This one here is a really, really beautiful, beautiful dress. Do you see the, the weird like stitching here? That is actually, or actually translates into ruching right in the front. So you have like a nice little like ruching around the abdomen area. It is a mini dress, but not a mini dress where your butt's hanging out. And again, factor in that I'm almost six feet tall and my butt's not hanging out. So on someone that is normal to average height, it's probably gonna be a little bit longer. The reason I like this dress, besides the lint on it, is that it has these really soft shoulder pads. Yeah, your eyes do not deceive you. Those are shoulder pads, but they're very moldable. It gives you a very fun, flirty, structured, elegant look. So despite wearing basic a basic cotton mini dress, you know, something with no fuss, no muss, no pattern, it does give you a very elegant, structured cut. So if that's something that you would like, I love the color. I think it comes in several other colors as well. I don't remember, medium, yeah, medium. I usually always go for medium just to err on the side of caution. So it is a medium. Yeah, I mean, I guess I could wear it with sneakers and be comfy and cozy, but it's one of those dresses that is a little bit shorter, a little bit tighter, and so you wanna factor that in. I wear it when I wanna look cute, uh, usually when we go out of town, like to Cancun or whatever, it's something that just automatically goes in my suitcase. Love it. You can machine wash it, you can put it in the dryer, but when you do, you gotta take the shoulder pads, there's like a lining underneath, like the lining ends here, so you gotta put your hand under the lining and readjust the shoulder pads and then it's good as new. But when you pull it out of the dryer, you're gonna get scared because you have all these like crumpled like chicharrones up here, pork rinds. They're all like tangled and messy and you're like, oh no, my dress is messed up. No, you just gotta put your hand up through the lining and kind of pull it down here and then go through the back, pull it down and just kind of spread out the shoulder pads because they're soft shoulder pads. They're cotton shoulder pads. They're not those foam ones. And so they're not stiff. You really got to just kind of readjust them. And then the last one that I want to share is that Leith uh, Nordstrom dupe on Amazon. So it's that you've seen it everywhere. It comes in a million colors, full coverage on the front, full coverage on the back. There's no buttons. There's no zippers. It has that ruching on the sides, like where your hips are. And then it has the overlap in the front. It is a dress that depending on the color that you get could not could potentially be unforgiving with your undergarments. I'm not a fan of, all I wear is like hipster or bikini cut underwear. That's just my style. It's what I find comfortable. If you wanna punish me, like force me to wear a thong. <laughs> so I don't. And I do get like the bikini, like the, the panty line. I, I don't care. Like if you're looking, you're welcome. <laughs> And then you don't have to wear a special bra with it, but it's just one of those where depending on the color, it's gonna be more forgiving versus not. 
It is also fully lined. So it is a double ply dress. You have the front and the back. It's a double ply dress. So it's going to show lines, but it's not gonna be see-through. That's what I was trying to get at. Anyway, that is it for this summer dress haul. I don't know how four dresses turned into a 30 minute video, but alas, here we are. So here's the scoop. The dresses are meant to be wash and dry, no fuss, low maintenance. The dresses have been put to the test of traveling with, uh, machine washing, washing them in the hotel sink because you stain them. And so they're really good. You really can put them through the ringer and they're gonna hold up. Now, if you were to say the uh, Old Navy price, I think I got this dress for like $6. I didn't get any of these dresses for $6. However, they are worthy of being mentioned in this video just because they hold up being put through what I've put them through. And given the fact that like I should have put up this video more than a month ago, I can say that. And so what I'm gonna do is I will make sure to list and link these dresses in the description box of this video. But if you're still having trouble using those links or clicking around or whatever, I have a like an Amazon, it's called an Amazon storefront. That just makes it sound weird like I sell things. It's basically a landing page or a site or an Amazon place you can go to where anything that I've gotten on Amazon that I've talked to you about, you can find right there. So you'll literally go there and it's like Coffee Break with Danny's Amazon storefront or whatever. And then it's like, oh, there's like a kids, the boys stuff. There's a school supply stuff. There's a fashion. There's Apple Watch bands. Like there's little tabs and it's everything that I have in my kitchen, that I use my laundry room, that I get for the dogs. It's all listed there by category. It is so easy to find. And maybe the fact that I'm telling you about it is problematic because now you're going to know where to, to get all the Amazon stuff and maybe your wallet will hate me. But alas, I'll leave it there. So I'll put the link here and then I'll also list it in the description box with all of these dresses. You guys, so comfy. You know, when you're home with the kids during the summer and you're having to do a bunch of things and you don't like wearing shorts or they're uncomfortable, like I'm a jeans girl. I will, I will wear jeans 24 seven, doesn't matter what season we're in and I'm comfortable, but sometimes I just want to do this. You know what I mean? Just one dress, that's it. Just over the head and I'm ready to go. And I was able to do that with these. And so if you're a creature of habit, you fall in love with things and refuse to let them go, then you understand the extent that I went to to find dresses that could replace this little dress when he's uh, when he's ready to pass on to the afterlife. You know what I mean? I love you guys so much. And you know what to do if you found this video useful, entertaining, and learned something, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. And until next time, this coffee break is over. Bye guys!